Hey you folks, how you doing today? Hopefully you're all okay. Um, I know it's International Pipe Smoking Day, so you're probably expecting a pipe video, but the, the pipe for me at the moment just isn't hitting the spot, and I've been smoking a lot of cigars, as anybody, you know, as you can tell from my last few videos and my social media posts. Um, and today... I'm going to smoke a cigar that I was gifted by Tech Tier. Um, it's a Placencia Year of the Tiger. So it's a limited edition for this year. Um, year of the Tiger. Um, it's a Toro size. And is Nicaraguan cigar. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd do it on video. Um, as you saw a moment ago, I got it paired with a cappuccino. And yeah, I'm going to get this lit and see what I think of it. Construction, it looks great. It's got a beautiful chocolate wrapper. Um, very, very fine veins in it. It's triple capped. Um and generally just looks like a really nice cigar. Aroma wise, uh, I'm picking up a little bit of cedar. Uh, it's got quite an earthy foot, but there's hints of spice there as well. Um, and I don't mean spice as in, you know, cinnamon, nutmeg, that kind of spice, although it's not cinnamon. Smells great anyway, so I'm going to get this cut. For this one, I'll be using my Calibra S Easy Cut. The diff just before I do cut it, actually, the difference between this one and the regular S Cut for anybody that doesn't know, the Easy Cut has a back on it, so you're never going to cut too far. It's got a, you know, it, it's always a perfect cut -y every time. Um, whereas with the S, regular S cut or regular cutters, you, you've really got to um, have a steady hand to get the straight cut and not cut too deep. Um, my problem with them is usually I, I get a, uh, and not a straight cut, it's kind of always at an angle. Um, that doesn't really happen with the easy cut. So, it's quite a nice drawer on it. Not really getting much flavour at all from the dry drawer. Um, yeah, it's not a lot of flavour coming through on the dry draw, but we'll get this lit and see what my thoughts are. Right off the bat, on the initial light, um, is peppery notes, probably more black pepper than white pepper. So there's some heat to it, but a bit of sweet and a sweet edge as well. Um, but quite full on pepper initially. The retro hail is quite smooth um, and shows some woody notes. So yeah. Well, that's the initial, you know, literally just after lighting it. I'll get further in and come back with more thoughts. First third of this cigar has been predominantly woody notes in flavour. There's occasionally been um, possibly roasted coffee, you know, coffee beans, but predominantly woody. For me, anyway, 
Um, it's smoking really well. The ashes, yeah, um, not as sturdy as I would have hoped. Uh, you know, it, 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 the ash fell just before I uh, clicked uh, the unpause button on the recording. But I can't fault the cigar, really. It's, you know, the construction is great, the, the draw is great. Uh, the burn's not too bad. I adjusted it once because it had started to drift a little bit one-sided. And I actually think that's what made the ash fall. I think that just, you know. Um, but yeah, so, so far, quite a woody flavour. Subtle hints of roasted coffee bean. Um, we'll see how it goes the further in I get. So I'm about halfway through the cigar now. Um, the flavours have been pr pretty much the same. As I said earlier, wood, uh, some coffee bean. Uh, the aroma room note has more of that uh, aromatic spice that I smelt in the uh, cigar earlier. Um, and there is a little bit of that in the flavour profile. Um, the flavours haven't really changed throughout the cigar, um, but it's an interesting one. Um, as well as the flavours that I'm getting, the, the smoke itself is occasionally quite creamy. It's going fairly well with the cappuccino, but I think possibly an espresso would be a better pairing with this um although the the creaminess of the cappuccino is actually helping you know adding some more dimension to the cigar all in all so far it's you know it's not a bad smoke There's a slightly bitter edge on the retro hail. I wouldn't quite say pepper. Uh, slightly bitter woodiness. That initial burst of pepper that I got on first lighting the cigar, that hasn't been present since then. Uh, the retro hail is enough to tickle my nose, as you can tell now. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's uh, I've still got a ways to go yet, but... Um, so far it's, it's pretty good. I've, uh, just switched my drink up to a Pepsi Max. Um, and that's actually made a difference to the flavour of the cigar. Uh, there's a little bit of cocoa creeping in. Um, and possibly the slight vanilla edge to the uh, Pepsi Max has yeah smoothed out the cigar a little bit the woody notes are still there um but they've lost the bitter edge um it seems you know that seems a lot smoother now um and with the addition of a little hint of cocoa and those roasted coffee or, or coffee beans, um, it's given it a nice dimension. So, you know, I mean, that to me shows quite a... I mean, I always knew that what you pair a cigar with can make a huge difference. Um, but really, Pepsi Max works well with this. I think the sweetness and the slight vanilla that you get in the Pepsi works really well. If you want to try some of these cigars, I suggest moving fairly quickly. Um, they've only made uh, 6,250 boxes worldwide. 
so they are a limited edition and i think that they'll uh kind of disappear fairly quickly i'm not expecting the flavors of this to change anymore with what's left um i don't tend to find a lot of uh changes in flavor with a new world cigar they tend to be pretty consistent throughout <clears throat> And this one's definitely been that. The woody notes have been present throughout. The The only difference maybe is the cocoa and the coffee bean. Um, they seem to fluctuate as to whether they're present or whether I can pick them up or not. But all in all, it's not been a bad cigar. It's... You know, the draw's been perfect, the construction of it was perfect. Um, and it's been quite a nice experience. The... <clears throat> what was I going to say? Yeah, as I said earlier, if you, you know, if you want to try some of these, I suggest getting hold of them as soon as you can. With them being a limited release or limited edition, they, you know, they might not be available in store for very long. Um, but I think they're, they're worth getting hold of. You know, they're a, they're a nice smoke. With that, I'm going to leave the video here. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed my thoughts on this cigar. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.